Okay, like having 1,000 songs in your pocket is cool and all, but what if you had one billion? A billion is like the number of videos we have on the YouTube, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss all the latest audiophile reviews and videos. Okay, so a billion might be a bit of a stretch, but compared to the days of yore and the OG iPod, today's daps are like seeing a UFO for the first time. Especially if you don't even know what they are. So what is a dap? A dap stands for Digital Audio Player. Digital audio players are electronic devices capable of storing and playing high resolution music or media files. Many digital formats, resolutions, and encoding exist. Most DAPs can comfortably play most digital files, and DAPs are designed to play high resolution or lossless digital files. DAPs aren't new. You could argue that the Sony Walkman launched in the summer of 1979 was the first DAP from a portable perspective. To say we've come a long way since the summer of 79 is to understate the portable digital music revolution. Today with the right high resolution musical sources and audio gear, we can hear symphony hall reference sound wherever we are and whenever we want. Apple's iPod was a cool product and an amazing idea. Having your entire music collection with you at all times made Apple's 1000 songs in your pocket tagline meaningful and exciting. DAPs can play all sorts of audio files too. Formats like FLAC, WMA, ALAC, AIF, OGG, and many other high-res audio formats. Music players like Estelle and Kern are also MQA certified and rune ready, giving the user an incredible amount of versatility in how they want to listen to their music. So where to begin? The best way to choose your DAP is based on the general sound you prefer. Some music players are more forward sounding, some are warmer and more musical, and others lie somewhere in between. We're going to help break down some of the best high-res dApps on the market so you can find the one that's right for you. In the interest of time, I'm only showing a select number of dApps here from our buying guide, so be sure to click the link to check out the full guide with many more selections. First up, let's talk about Estelle & Kern. Estelle & Kern is a South Korean company that focuses on creating some of the most popular DAPs, CD players, headphones, and home cinema products on the market. Estelle & Kern products stylistically stand out from the crowd with their modern metals aesthetic, sharp edges, and sleek designs. Their digital music players look like the future. They are best known for high-end music players, portable audio devices, or high-res iPods. Their sound signature tends to fall on the analytical side of the spectrum. Since they released their proprietary open app service, users can download and listen to their favorite music streaming services like Tidal, Cobuzz, Spotify, and more. First up in the list of the selling current players, we have the SR25. The SR25 is Estelle & Kern's entry-level DAP, and it's a great starting music player for those wanting a lot more from their music without emptying their wallet. It's also their smallest player, but don't be fooled by its small size. The SR25 is packed with a quad-core CPU and CS43198 dual DAC, providing premium performance with native DSD-256 and up to 32384. LDAC is also included, allowing you to listen to your high-resolution music untethered via Bluetooth. If great sound quality and performance aren't enough, one of the most impressive things about the SR25 is the 21-hour battery life. This level of performance for an entry-level device is unique and presents an incredible value for those music lovers wanting an upgrade from their consumer-level devices. Next up, let's look at the SC180. The SC180 DAP actually came out after the SC200 player, but both players share in the philosophy of giving the listener the option to change their sound according to their preference. 
It's an innovative design by Estelle and Kern by implementing interchangeable all-in-one modules that pop in and out of the top of the player. The system is similar to that of Ibeso, which they've used for years, but the difference is that Estelle and Kern allows the user to swap out different DACs, which directly affects the sound. By applying different DAC amp configurations, adjusting the tuning and outputs for each module, the listener can choose the sound which most aligns with their personal listening preference. The SE180 also includes great connectivity, giving you three headphone connections right out of the box. Next on our list is the SP2000. The SP2000, see right here, is Estelle and Kern's bread and butter. Their flagship DAP offers six VRMS balanced output, three VRMS unbalanced output, supports up to 32-bit 786 bit-to-bit -bit playback, and native playback of DSD up to DSD 512. It's impressive. The SP2000 comes in stainless steel and copper body variants and is also equipped with the latest and most advanced AK DAC chip, the AK4499 EQ, and a dual DAC design. The SP2000 is the first Estelle and Kern player to use separate independent audio channels between the balanced and unbalanced outputs. This design offers more power than previous models, so you can drive your headphones even further. If you want one of the best sounding DAPs on the market, then look no further. Don't worry, Estelle and Kern brought the big guns to the party. The Con Alpha right here is a powerhouse DAP outputting a whopping 12 VRMS. What makes this even more impressive is that they managed to keep the same power output as the Con Cube, and yet managed to dramatically shrink the chassis into a more portable design. Using exclusively made ultra small tantalum capacitors and a redesigned power circuit, the Con Alpha shows just how well you can pack a bunch of power into a small unit and still manage to get an amazing 14.5 hours of continuous playback on a single charge. Real quick, we wanted to do an honorable mention for the SP2000T. At the time of the buying guide, uh, we released it. The SP2000T was not out yet. But uh, the 2000T is going to be a really great option for those wanting, again, a more warmer, uh, more vintage sound because it includes a vintage vacuum tube in it. Uh, it uses the same op amp design as the SP2000, uh, but it also incorporates a triple amp system, which has a dial which you can adjust from the op amp sound and then certain degrees of variation to the full tube amp sound. So it's a pretty revolutionary uh, device in the fact that it's the first time in an AK player that they have utilized a tube. So again, it's not on par with the SP2000, but if you want a warmer tone, a warmer sound, more musical interpretation, uh, then that's going to be a really, really great option. Next, we'll talk about Ibeso. Ibeso represents the middle of the road sound signature between Estelle and Kern and Sony. An incredibly resolute, and neutral sound, Ibeso DAPs are known for their extreme customization options. Their products incorporate a replaceable amp card design that can switch out I.O., amplifier, DAC, and much more to customize your music player how you want to listen to your music. They represent an incredible value as well for the price point. The DX300 is Ibeso's sparkly flagship player. The DAP sports an amazingly beautiful 6.5 near bezel-less screen with a UHD resolution. The DX300 has dual battery structure with the amp and digital selection being powered by independent batteries. The independent battery provides a sufficient power supply to ensure the stability of the amp section and it isolates the digital section interference to achieve better overall sound quality. A feature of the DX series is the replaceable amp card design. Amp cards provide for more variety, personalization, and enjoyment of your music. 
You can change the output port configuration, circuit design, playtime, and much more. The DX300 Music Player features the OctaCore Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 mobile platform, 5th Gen Mango OS, Android 9.0 OS, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage with external expansion option, and Quad CS43198 DAC chips, the current flagships from Cirrus Logic. Get a flagship DAP without the flagship price. Sony needs no introduction. The inventor of the Walkman is still innovating and producing some of the best sounding audiophile gear on the market. Typically a warmer sound signature, Sony DAPs provide great bottom end and fullness to your music. Their high end DAPs can be pricey, but you're also paying for a product that is single handedly created to make your music sound the very best it can. Let's take a look at the Sony NWWM1Z. All that glitters is not gold, but sometimes it really is. That's a line from, sorry, yeah, I stole it. The Walkman has come a long way since its inception. The WM1Z Walkman from Sony is quite literally plated in gold, lending a striking high-end look to this flagship portable digital audio player. Highs are gorgeous, Lows are bountiful and mids retain a rich and emotive presence. Everything just sounds super clean and natural. Now, technically the NWWM1Z is portable. You can pair it with your favorite IEM or full size headphone and take it on the go if you choose. But you have to remember that this thing is hefty and it's also an investment piece. It's probably not something you would choose for a walk in the park. That being said, you could absolutely take it with you whenever you travel and listen to it in a more static setting. It's also a great choice for the office or at home. And with Bluetooth compatibility, you can use it with a Bluetooth speaker or in your car. If you're looking to stream music, the NWWM1Z won't be for you, it doesn't have Wi-Fi. But for the audiophile with a large music library who loves a warm, full, detailed, and organic sound, the Sony NWWM1Z may be your hi-fi dream come true. Okay, so let's just do a quick sound signature recap. So Estelle and Kern daps are gonna be on the more analytical forward side of the spectrum. Sony's gonna be more warm and musical. And then Ibeso is gonna be somewhere in the middle with a more balanced sound signature. The type of music you like to listen to is really going to determine which DAP is gonna be better suited for that genre. You're gonna to wanna to take into consideration things like the DAC, the amp, the connections to see if it's uh, compatible with your headphones, things like that. Uh, in our buying guide, we're gonna talk more about some of these other DAPs like the SP1000, uh, the Sony 507, the 220 Max here for my Beso and much more. So to close this thing out, again, these are just some of the great dApps included in our buying guide, which we'll link to below. There you'll find lots more info on these dApps and features and more. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video and be sure to subscribe for more audiophile and music lover gear and content. There's lots of information here, so if you're not sure where to start with music players, or if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and we'll be more than happy to help however we can. As always, thanks for watching.